Okay, everyone, this video is going to be on the proper way to tease your hair. People think that the real way to do it is to pick up pieces and chunks and then just really go at it and kill your hair. You just rip hair out that way. So I'm going to show you guys the correct way. So you're going to need a few things. Um, you can either get a teasing brush, which is a lot like this. It contains boar bristles. Or you can just use a comb. This happens to be my um, foiling comb, but anything with smaller teeth that are closer together like this works. I like to use a texturizing spray instead of a hairspray when teasing because hairspray can cause it to be a little sticky and to give you a lot of resistance, causing more damage. But if your hair is really stubborn, don't be afraid to use hairspray. A lighter hairspray will do to give you that little bit of dirtiness, I guess, um, and texture in order to really get a good tease. So I'm going to use my comb because I'm most comfortable with this. Sorry. And what I like to do if I'm looking for a volume mostly back here, say uh, if I'm going to put my hair up or I have my hair more so straight and I have like just like a bang section and I want more volume back here, I like to take what I call a horseshoe section. So literally bring it back and then curve around the back. Now this is kind of hard to show you guys, but it's going to be messy. There's a reason why I curve around the back. It's so that you don't get those flat lines in your hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this section, I'm going to spray, and I'm literally going to take it high up. Don't think that you need to tease all the way down here like this. You're going to cause more damage that way and you're going to get a lot less results. I'm going to take all the way up here and then just pull down gently. And you'll feel the resistance build. So you're going to build up from the bottom all the way up. You can see it's like one big rat's nest now. That's success. <laughs> and then I'll flip this over and take another section. You can already kind of see that it's standing up. Spray that section and then move on to tease all this. Okay, so now you see I've got all this like craziness going on up here. That's normal. You're going to smooth that out, but you want all this initial craziness. Now sometimes this side of my hair gets super flat because I cut my hair this way so there's less hair on this side. I look like a crazy person right now. Okay. I will take sections over here and I will literally just tease that. And you'll feel the resistance and that's just enough to give you look. And I'll get that little bit of volume that I need. And then all of this, if you're going to do a poof, you just want to lightly take your comb and brush this back. It's going to give you enough back here. I just wanted to show you guys a technique. My hair is not really ideal for this video today, but this is the technique to it. And it works if you're doing that like beachy look and you're just getting this volume down here, nothing up here. Don't be afraid to tease around here a little bit. Tease around the sides. Like you can see like that gave me a little bit of um, over there. The way I get volume in my hair is that I just tend to part when I'm styling my hair in the opposite direction. So since I like wearing my hair this way, I tend to style my hair this way first and then flip it over and then I just happen to get volume that way. And I do that back and forth all day long. I'm pretty annoying with my hair. You can <laughs> ask anyone who knows me. And then you can use a little bit of light hairspray and that's that. So hopefully the tips in this video has helped you guys out a little bit. I make new videos every Thursday. There will be a question and answer following this video, so hit me up on my Twitter, on my Facebook, on here on YouTube, and I will try to answer as many questions as I possibly can.